Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of NBA The Show. To the left of me is Chris. Welcome. I'm Justin. We're going to be talking about the Miami Heat today, Chris. All right. And what is going on in South Beach? Do you know what's going on? Tell me. Inform me. All right. Let's go to the video. I'll show you. King Johnson in his sixth. In his sixth NBA team in eight years. The steal and bucket by Winslow. This is Marcus Neely from FAU. Do me a favor and check out Justin and Chris on NBA The Show Weekly. So Chris, the topic of the day is the Miami Heat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you on blast right off the spot. All right. I'll put you on blast. Okay. You told me that the Heat would be in fourth or fifth come the end of the year in seeding. Okay. I don't know how you put those numbers together. I feel that you felt that Chris Bosh would be coming back to the Heat and Mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade would bring his banana boat with his buddies and come back here because they're not going to be fourth or fifth place. No, no. They're not even going to make the playoffs. You see, here's what I thought. Here's really what I thought. I expected more from Drogage. I find a massive problem with the Heat is their lack what, of... What do you expect more from Drogic? What, what do you want him to do? I need to do see, you want him to be Chris Paul? I need to see him better in the pick and roll. The I need to see roll. him better in pick and roll. His assists, he's only... He's, There's only one person coming to give him a pick and roll, and that's Whiteside. Okay, that's fair, but a, a, a pick and roll with Whiteside, that's deadly. That should be deadly. You remember the loss from is, last year? but nobody moves for the team aside. Whiteside comes over for the screen, mm-hmm. Drogic gets to the hole, and Whiteside scoots over, and everybody else is just standing, there. standing around, yeah. and it's congested in the lane, and they I can't agree. get that, that pick and roll to work out. Right, so that's right. the problem with that. But other than that, Drogic is, is putting up 16, 17 points a game. He just came off an injury. He did. He was out two games with that boot. Comes back. Little bit iffy, you mm-hmm. know, not making shots, a little bit rusty. Yeah. Comes back, makes a, a dagger three the other night. Okay. So, and, and they beat but the Bucks after losing like eight or seven games. I still, you know, when he came to the Heat, I thought that Dragic was easily a top 10 point guard. Now, I don't I don't think that anymore. After seeing him on the Heat. Offensively, he might be a top 10 point eh, guard. He's maybe. not a great defender. He's suspect on defense, yeah. man. He's pretty suspect. I don't like that he gives up he a liability. I don't like that. Chris Bosh, we know he's done. Mm-hmm. Coming off the salary in February, the Heat are going to be able to work with $40 million this offseason. And the story is, what should the Heat do now? Should they tank the rest of the season, look to get a good acquisition in free agency? and build from that mm-hmm. and let their young players play out this season. I mean, they could look at people like Serge Ibaka, Andre Gludala, Catavius Caldwell, Pope, Blake Todd Griffin. Gibson, Blake JJ Griffin. Redick, Blake Griffin, but he has a player option. That's what I like. And Zach Randolph. Most likely the people with the player options are mm-hmm. going to stay unless there's an issue with the organization well, or their game. You know, I think this is a make or break year for the Clippers. You know, not to get too off topic, but the Clippers have been on the cusp for so long. And they've had, a, for the most part, a similar but look core. at them. They're the best team in the NBA. Why would Blake Griffin leave that? Because if in the playoffs, there's just a catastrophic meltdown. If there's well, something we do bad, see that they leave the first or second round for the last five, six they've years. They've been booted out. So that's kind of kind of interesting. But they did play good teams, you know, Warriors, Spurs. They did, you know, you know who the Clippers Thunder. are. The Clippers are the Suns back with Steve Nash and Amari Sotomayor. That's a good team, but they it never won. Team, they never won, you know? and they never made it to the finals. Team. Yeah, that was tough. Mm-hmm. So the Heat, there's issues. Okay, and it's not defensively. No, because they are one of the best. Oh yeah, defensive teams in the NBA. Chris, they are first in field goals allowed at just 41.5% from the floor. They only allow 41.5% shooting. Yeah, but that's look, really good. But look here, they're they're 28th in points per game, 94.5. And that's a problem. That's they, a massive problem. They have a problem on offense, and we're gonna go over some tape mm-hmm. and show the fans of what the problem is offensively. You know, the the Heat organization, they always talk about how they're defensive minded and it's good, but they're trying to make every player on the team be able to bring the ball up the court and to be able to dribble. That's good, 
but the shot clock runs down and they don't know what to do with it. You know what it is though? You know what it is? Is the Heat do not have the man. Like in Dwayne Wade, you give it to Dwayne Wade. Exactly. Let him call some shots. White side can be the man, but not offensively. Not offensively. Neither can Drogic. I expected that from Drogic. He's not. He's not the man. he wasn't an all-star and he's never going to be an all-star. Not in His prime is gone. Actually, did he make an all-star one year? One year. He got an all-NBA 13. He might have made it that year back in 2013 with the Suns. But you know what, Drogic, man? I just, the constant pushing off. Yeah, he goes, we you can know. show one of those plays. When he comes in down the lane, he always shoves off. You know, if you're driving and you put your hand straight, it's okay. But when you extend it, that's when it's an offensive man, foul. I think you're being generous. He's dropping the people's elbow out here. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Call it like a I like that for him. No bad players in the NBA. Drop it. So the Heat offensively are bad. They're 28th in points per game, but they're third in points per game allowed at 95.3. So promise. again, defensive. defensive. So I like that Eric Spolstra and Pat Riley like to preach defense. That's mm -hmm. really, really good. And defense wins championships, Absolutely. but without offense, there's not much you can do. A pass into Hassan Whiteside, who decides to just throw it up. He doesn't try to back down on John Henson whatsoever. Goran Dragic driving the lane, pushes off with that elbow, gets triple team, and throws a poor pass to Josh Richardson, who misses the contested three. Here we see a pick and roll with Richardson and Williams that gets picked off. Dragic with a not so sure to pass or shoot to Derek Williams, who gives it right back to Dragic, who drives on three defenders and misses the reverse layup, and Whiteside gets called for the offensive foul. Butler on Drogic who gets into the paint and kicks it out to Hassan Whiteside who settles for a contested mid-range jumper. Drogic with the pass to Johnson with the dribble handoff back to Drogic who's stuck in the corner throws up a wild pass that's picked off by Jimmy Butler who passes it to Dwayne Wade for the dunk. Drogic setting up a play 30 feet away back to the basket. Passes it to Dion Waiters, who gets a pick from Whiteside, who then tries to roll, but has no space. Now double teamed, and all five defenders are in the paint. Passes out to Luke Babbitt, who hands it to Drogic, who settles for a missed three-point. Alrighty, guys, back to the topic. Now we are talking about the players that aren't playing up to expectations for the Miami Heat, and all for right. us, how we feel, mm -hmm. and players who are actually play, playing a little bit better than expected. So let's start with players who really upset me, mm -hmm. and it's Dion Waiters. You like him? I like Dion. You love Waiters. everything he's I don't, doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't love everything he's doing. Okay. Some of these air balls have got He's putting up 12.5 points per game. Mm -hmm. He's taking a lot of shots. He I don't have the exact a, number he's on He's a volume head, shooter. But he's taking a lot of shots, yeah. and a lot of shots are questions to the other NBA other players in the Miami Heat, and they're just saying in their head, why? Who else though? Not Winslow. Well, of not, course Winslow. not Winslow. Okay, but he's shooting. It actually went up to 36% from the floor. That's not good. No, that's not. That is not good. But, and, but, and more than half his shots are drives. He gets to where he needs to go. The man has a great first step. And we're gonna oh, show yeah. some highlights. He has a great first step, but he tries to draw the contact. And if he doesn't get fouled, he miss most of the time misses it. Mm -hmm. And if he does get does get fouled. He's a 55, 60% free throw shooter. You see, that's, that's bad. My He's a shooting guard. My problem with Waiters, I like him on the defensive end. He's got quick feet. I like, a, I like him there. He's an up and coming defensive player. He wasn't known as a defensive player. No, ever, but ever. I like him. He's got quick hands. He's got quick feet. He's good at cutting people off. He did that a couple times. He has a couple he, good blocks, too. Yeah, when he was guarding uh, John Sante de Campu, cut him off a couple times. Got to mm -hmm. use his feet. Can't use his hands against a bigger defender. But, uh, but, you know, back to your point with Waiters, I think the Waiters, the reason he's getting so many shots is because he can, he can get shots up. A player like Winslow, he doesn't have the handle to get his shot up. Sometimes I mean, Winslow's a flat shooter. It's, it's bad. Yeah, Dion Waiters is the Miami Heat's. He's their best ball handler. Who's a better ball handler, Drogic? Ball handler? The yeah. man averages six turnovers a game. Let's not talk about ball. <laughs> Let's not but, talk about ball handling. Okay, he does have a high turnover ratio, uh, assist to turnover ratio, but he can do the most. Mm -hmm. He can do the most. He actually missed that three to uh, what tie the game against the Hawks. I'm not. You know I'm, I'm not in love with the three point shot, but he has shown some glimpses, some minor glimpses of excellence. And what's good is is what what's actually bad and good okay. is that there's times where he shows up and there's times where he doesn't show Agreed. up because he had three games this year where he put up over 20 points, mm -hmm. like 23, 25, and 27. He had a good game against the Bucks. And then there was games where he had six, five, nine, shooting 30 percent from the field, it, it, even even worse. So yeah. 
There's times he doesn't show up. He just needs to be more consistent. And oh, you, absolutely. you say players sometimes aren't consistent, sometimes are. He just needs to be more consistent. Deion, a consistent, a consistent Deion Waiters that cuts down the turnovers and runs an effective pick and roll. Is a the fourth pick in the, in the draft. Yes, yes, That's I would he's agree. Supposed to be. He's got some. He's can. He's got some nice moves, but he can't. You know, a million million dollar move with a ten cent finish. You know, yeah, he, ain't, exactly. he ain't finishing. Let's move on to Mr. Winslow. People right. are gonna hate us for this. People are gonna dislike us for this. We can't do anything about no. it. No, Justice Winslow was 10th pick in the NBA draft in 2015 coming out of Duke University. Mm -hmm. He won a championship with Duke. Oh, yeah. NCNA. We had Jahil Okafor on his team too, right? Mm -hmm. So people expect so much from Justice Winslow and you really do because he was spoon fed into the NBA. You know, but it, it's he like, was. He just has such an. It NBA. gave him thirty something minutes a game he coming just, out as a starter. The Heat, the Heat got the room for it. The Heat have the room they to need give him the minutes. Yes. And the Heat are really looking to develop Winslow. They're really looking to make him their closer. But but they said, oh, Winslow worked on his shot so much this off season. He does not. He's not shooting any no. better this year than he did last no, year. No. And he has more air balls than made shots oh, from the yeah. three point line. Mm -hmm. So advice for Winslow would be take it inside and play to your ass, like play to to what you're good yeah, at, your strengths, your strengths, and and work your your offensive game or, or shooting later on Le in, in the season or later on in your career because uh -huh. we know players like Butler only average eight points in his first season mm -hmm. or six and then eight and then twelve. He developed over time, and we're not Kawhi expecting Leonard. Winslow to be a god mm -hmm. offensively shooting, but we expect him to not take so many shots mm -hmm. that he's not comfortable with. Even even he came out and said, I'm comfortable with my shot. We watched it. I wasn't comfortable with it. No, no, it, it, he's throwing up a lot of bricks. I but mean, you he's know putting up 11.6 points per game, which is pretty good. I mean, that's... And you know, I'll take it, I'll mm -hmm. take it. That's not starter numbers, but you know what I really like? I like the idea of Winslow coming off the bench. They need to have Josh Richardson. Somebody starter. needs to grow a pair. Josh and tell him he needs to come off the bench. Oh no, I think it's happening. I think it. You know, now that you said he, he's injured, mm -hmm. you know they put in Derek Williams. Now when Winslow comes back, and this usually happens he's a lot starting. because of injury, mm -hmm. they say, "Listen, we want you to come back slow, hint, slow, hint, 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 slow," and they bring him back into play. As you can see, the Heat's numbers without Winslow. Might be actually better. He, he, he throws up too many the, bricks, and man. He's one of their best defensive players, or their best defensive player, mm -hmm. besides Whiteside. Okay. But their defensive numbers didn't drop without Winslow. That went up. But you know, look who's replacing them. You got Magruder, who's got quick feet, and you got mm -hmm. Richardson, who's got quick feet. You know, good contest. Yeah, 6'6 six, six, like uh, point guard. He's exactly. a great player. Exactly. So Winslow's only <laughs> shooting 33% from the floor and an awful 21% from behind the arc. That means you got to stop shooting. Threes. I think we have to agree on this that Winslow needs to stop shooting so much. Oh, yeah, no. Winslow needs to let his offensive game come to him. Mm -hmm. Let Find your shots. You Don't need to force stop trying to be a point forward, too. That's what the Heat are trying to make him do. The Heat want him I, to be a point I forward. Don't like Winslow, like you see Drogic bringing the ball up the court and he just hands it over to Winslow. Let, see, the reason why Drogic can't sell is because they're not letting him be Drogic. That's what I You mean. know, to an agree, but I really think that from last year to this year, I really think that Drogic has lost a step. I have not been impressed so far with really too many too many plays of his. Mm -hmm. You know, he, that, that push off, you know, the jump shot's not consistent enough. Okay. I need to see more. Let's, I need to move, see let's more. move on to Luke Babbitt. Luke oh. Babbitt came here for one reason. Three. One reason. Threes. Not defense. And the man is shooting 30%. 30%? 30% from the three-point line. Come again? We, you have one job. You have one job, and you're shooting 30% from behind the arc. I think it's time for after you this know, one season to let him go. You know what it is, too? He's a massive liability on the defensive end of the game and on the rebounds. Mm -hmm. if, if there's a good center, for example, if the Heat against the game against the Jazz... You can't have Babbitt on favors because Whiteside is locked up with Gobert. Unless you injure him. Yeah, yeah. Unless <laughs> you hit him with one of them elbows from Dragic, you know. But but you Babbitt is gonna get killed on the boards from a player like Favors. Killed. And now let's talk about the last player. All right. Who is even more of a <sighs> disappointment? McMuffin. Than, <laughs> than Mr. Babbitt. Dude. Josh McRoberts. Oh, McRoberts muffin. came from the Hornets. The Muffin Man. They saw, they liked what he saw there. They mm -hmm. gave him a deal. I think it's like five million a year around there, approximately. And he's been injured after injured after injured. When he actually plays, he doesn't look 
to do anything no. but do goofy passes. He's, he looks scared out there. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't look comfortable in his own shot. He and when he actually shoots, it's wide open and from 15 feet, and he can't make it. Nah, man. The man is shooting 15%. 15? I could shoot 15. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 15% from the floor. It's just... It's that, just awful. That, that's man. abysmal. McMuffin needs to be traded instantly from the Miami Heat. He needs to be released. He needs to be traded. He does so not need one, to be... He's averaging 1.3 points per game, 2.7 rebounds per game, and 1.7 assists per game. 15%? 15%. This man, this man cannot score. He cannot dribble. He cannot... He can dribble a teeny weeny bit. <laughs> teeny that's weeny. That's as, that's as good but as it gets. It, 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 he, he looks to facilitate before doing anything, and he's not a great facilitator. He doesn't do anything. You know, I really... I feel bad, but I don't feel bad. No, no, not at all. He puts you know, it on himself. They're dead last in free throw percentage. They're shooting 66.5%. That that can't be. How do you expect to win games when you're getting to the line? Not that much. Who's penetrating, really, other exactly. than Waiters? Exactly. Other than Waiters, there's you're, nobody who's going to ISO besides exactly, Drogic, who, exactly. who doesn't really get foul calls. No. He's more of the offensive foul call. Yeah, yeah. You know like the push. Drogic, off the ISO, he likes that step back, but that's not going to draw too many fouls. So the Heat don't draw that many fouls, and when they do go to the line, we're throwing up bricks, guys. Mm -hmm. The shoot, shooting, it's the offense. It's all offensive base. Their struggles. You know, one guy who's really impressing me this year, that? and it's probably the same guy you have in mind, Hassan Whiteside. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, but he we has a that. big, he we has a it. huge contract. Mm -hmm. We know, but he's not being the guy. I remember when he got his first contract with the Kings. He was actually drafted one after Dexter Pittman. Remember Dexter <sighs> Pittman? Dexter Pittman. Get him out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. And he got his contract, he got his salary, and the okay. first thing he did, he spent three quarters of it on a Bentley. And then he's like, I have to pay taxes. That's a, so That's a good investment. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the story here is that he's not saying I made all this money and mm -hmm. now my game, I'll just play the way I feel like playing. Mm -hmm. He's really trying out there. Oh yeah. The man is first in rebounding at 16 rebounds a game. But you know where he's lacking? And last season, what, what upsets me is he was so strong is the free throws. Exactly, and this so is what I was gonna bring up. Mm -hmm. He was developing that free throw shot, which he made into a jump shot to make him feel comfortable. No. He's stepping about four feet, three, yeah. two, three feet back, yeah. making a jump shot out of it, which is good if you can if he makes up, it, if you he know, can make it. Repetition. Mm -hmm. And now his mid-range shot just looks awful. So I feel like in this offseason, he didn't really work on his game. You know, I think a lot of what that has to do is the the heat. There's a new, It's a new team. Mm -hmm. You know, Dwayne yeah, Wade. Yeah, coaches come and go. Exactly. Skills coaches. Right, and you know, with a player like Dwayne Wade who takes up, you know, he's a mad guy. Yeah, he you would know, go team. into the lane and kick it out exactly. to a white side who's 15 feet out and can make that exactly. shot. Exactly, he had the space. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, a big part of it. Whiteside's defense is limited. If you saw a three-pointer play against the Heat, a center mm -hmm. who can shoot threes mm -hmm. or a deep mid-range shot, mm -hmm. Whiteside doesn't come out. No. He sits underneath no, he the does. basket, either mm -hmm. waiting for a rebound or hoping for a that he misses. Mm -hmm. And then there's some times where he goes to block a shot and then on a, on a different position besides his own, and tries to block the shot, and then his center tips it back in or gets right. Right, right. Because he, he leaves his man he's open. trying so hard. Another right. thing he does a lot this year is offensive goaltending or or goaltending in general. Right, where he tries to block and it's on its way down. I you like know, his I like his sense of blocking, mm -hmm. but I don't like his over overdoing over, of the blocking. Yeah, like over over trying to do it. Right, right. You know, but it, you know that's his game. It's mm -hmm. his game. He's looking to make a huge impact on the defensive end, so you gotta go for some of those blocks. I like the fact that he does try to block an inbound, so that's nice as well. Right, right, exactly, keeping the ball in play, it's major. So we both agree, mm -hmm. the Heat are struggling this year. There's a reason for their three and eight record. Mm -hmm. You know, they lost a bunch of games. The major key is offense. Oh. You know? Mm, couldn't stress that so enough. So hopefully this season, well, I'm, I'm calling it out right now. They're not making the playoffs. No, I no, I don't think the Heat are making the playoffs. However, I do think tanking is a really bad idea because it, ch it changes the culture. I'm not telling yeah. them not to win. I'm just telling you that let let young players develop. Mm -hmm. Give Drogic less minutes. Yeah, players who mm -hmm. who we are know who are going to continue doing what they do less right. minutes. Mm -hmm. Let young people, Josh Richardson. Oh yeah, Johnson. Oh yeah, Tyler Johnson. I love Tyler Johnson. I think he's. I think he's the best player coming off the bench for the Heat. Mm -hmm. Smart player. So I we think... gotta let these young players mm -hmm. develop because they're gonna be the face of the Miami Heat. Absolutely. You know. And then in the off season, reach out. Either find a shooting guard, a small forward, or a power forward. For that sure. Can a really. Power forward. That to really help this team. So thank you guys for watching this brand new episode of NBA The Show. 
I'm Justin. I'm Chris. Take care, everybody. All Peace, right. everybody. Peace. Yeah.